well, here's another great match. Acclaimed. Acclaimed did something unbelievable. Dude, they, they let were... me tell you, that match in person was freaking fantastic. Aside from just the crowd reaction, those two teams gave a freaking master's course on how to yeah. climax a tag team match Big from time. a storytelling perspective. It was so fantastically put together. Whoever helped put that match together deserves all the flowers in the world. I love that match. And yeah. all four guys read the crowd perfectly. Uh, I honestly think they could have done without the whole little endorsement with Billy Gunn there at the end because the crowd wasn't really feeling that. They, they wanted to firmly be behind the acclaimed winning the championship there. Uh, but uh, there was one thing I just did want to add real quick here on, on the back of your point about punk. It's also sad for me because I have loved this CM punk run from an in-ring standpoint. There are very few matches I haven't enjoyed from this. I, I think he has enhanced just about every guy he's been in the ring with. All of his feuds have been must see TV. The, the MJF feud was arguably the feud of the year. Yeah. I really enjoyed the work he's been doing. And if we have seen CM Punk wrestle his last match, I don't know if we have. But if we have, it, it's a somber feeling knowing that it potentially ended on circumstances like this again. Wild. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> to, to go back to the acclaim thing. Okay. Being there live like John, I think John will agree with me in that old old wrestling heads may go, Oh, they missed their peak. Because I, when I was watching it, I was like, wow, I wonder if they're going to miss their peak. And I was like, nope, they didn't because the crowd was right back. And that happened like two or three times. So if people are trying to tell you as a, a, a wrestling fan, you know, that match was really good, but they missed their peak and it went too long. I will say if we are basing it on crowd reaction, they did not go too long because the crowd was just as hot for the finish as they were yeah. for that first moment, that first near fall where they thought it, it might have been the end. So, you know, let's let the, the people who who the old school wrestling fans who who may have thought it was too long, we were there. So let the record show that that was not the case. And I think John probably agrees with me. Yeah, Garrett, that cradle, I forget when it was near the end of the match, that cradle. I think it was by Bowens, was one of the greatest near falls I've ever seen live. Oh, it was so good. So good. Unbelievable. Amazing. Yeah. And, and, look, and commentary did a great job, by the way. Uh, you guys didn't hear it, but commentary was really on the money with this match. Uh, a lot of people said maybe they should have called an audible. And oh, that's what I was going to bring up. Picture. Go for it. I, I think they, you know what? In, in At the moment, maybe could have, should have, would have, I don't know. But they have a hot program with two really young guys uh, to get that tag title in a big show. I mean, you could do it at Arthur Ashe, and, the, and you know, the, the fake roof will blow off that building. <laughs> the wind will also gust that roof because it's not a very stable roof. But uh, I, I think they could do something with these guys again, and there's money in it for sure. So I, I did want to ask both of you about this, whether or not you thought they should have made the audible. Because as I'm watching this finish, I also thought, oh, people are going to say that they should have made the audible. And if I'm Tony Khan, and I don't, I don't want to be Tony Khan right now, <laughs> but it, it, you know, if I'm thinking like with that mentality, his whole plan was to get these guys hot, right? And so he's, it, he, it's, it's like, yeah, it was perfect. It was everything that you wanted it to be, and now these guys are hot, and then you can do what, what, what you were going to do with them in the big way that you thought, if they are going to win the, the titles, which I would, I would imagine so, because they are, you know, they are such a hot act. But I, I did not want them to audible if he's got a long story with these guys to finally win the belt, because I imagine it's going to be really good. And if they do it at Arthur Ashe, that crowd's going to be nuts for it, just, just as much as the Chicago one was. Yeah, I, I'll be I there. Thought, I'll be at Arthur yeah. Rash, so I'm looking forward uh, and to And I'll be to there, too, that. just to take that picture with you, buddy, that we've been so craving for so long. This, but, this. but <laughs> <laughs> No, but, but, but for real, though, uh, Tony said it in the post-presser that he's looking at that match for Grand Slam. And I think the, this is just using context clues here. I could totally be wrong, but using context clues based on the press conference, I think the intention was to run this match, see the reaction it got, and if it got the reaction that they were hoping it would, they would run it at Grand Slam again and maybe do a title change there. That's why I don't think there was an audible call here, because you can make an argument that maybe there should have been. I think the degree that 
the acclaimed got over to was far greater than anyone really expected, even though everyone knows they're popular. Everybody loves the acclaimed, right? But I think it surpassed the expectations. And that's why you had so many people calling for an audible. But here's also the reality. You do it in front of 20,000 people at Arthur Ashe Stadium. That's going to be a pretty damn big moment. Yeah. And the other thing about it is maybe you put it closer into the main event right rather than in the middle of the show being in the middle of the show it almost got over too much because i think it hurt the next match uh which was the women's four-way and yeah. you know there was a little bit of lull after those until the the main event so uh you could position it differently higher in the card and give that anticipation because you know l- l- i don't think it's going to be the main event but let's say they said it was the main event that says to the fans oh something's going to happen here so I, th- I think they, 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 should, they, they can do that as well.